and you know what time it is. I'm here. We're at Radio Row, Super Bowl in Phoenix. Oh boy, another great one. And hey, I got the man. And look, I got this guy sitting right here to about two people away from me. And they talk about Denzel, they talk about all these other brothers. But one thing that he got over them, he hasn't aged a day in the last 25 years. So I'm just going to stop what I'm doing and introduce Mr. Solomon Wilcox. How are you doing today, sir? How's everything going? Oh, it's doing, uh, everything's going great. And uh, look, it's good to be here with you guys. I brought my broadcast partner with me, uh, Mike from Adela Springs Healthcare. And uh, we're here to spread some good news about composure uh, to help people stay calm during situational stress. I know you guys are always cool. Yeah. You don't yeah. get nervous before shows. Nope. Uh, but here you go. We brought, we come bearing gifts. There catch. it is, composure. There you go, my man. All right. I need this. So, all right, we're here. We're here to help you out with that. But thanks for having us, guys. Yes. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. And composure, yeah, this is going to be very needed for me because I know I get a little excited sometimes, especially, <laughs> especially when I'm going to get to that game on Sunday. But yeah. we know that this is one, a significant game, Solomon, and we know that we know that the elephant in the room is there, and they, they brought it up the moment Mahomes had won the game. We got two black quarterbacks yeah. in the Super Bowl. But as my father told me, about a decade ago, about really not even a decade ago, about 20 years ago, it was inevitable. It was it was always going to happen. Yeah. But we are now at this moment. How significant is it? You know, it's very significant simply because these are opportunities now that both quarterbacks are experiencing that wasn't always afforded. Let's be honest. There are some other great players who were quarterbacks who were asked to change position, who were told they couldn't play quarterback. You're better off playing wide receiver. And so... I think it, it marks a point in our country and in our game. We've been playing this game in the NFL for 103 years, and it shows that we've made significant progress. And I think that's something to be celebrated. I really do believe that. And I know that's how Jalen looks at it. I know that's how Patrick Mahomes look at it. And I think we all should celebrate that. Beautiful. And you know what? I'm looking at my man, Walt, and it's like we always have to do this tag team partner thing. And he looks like he's antsy to ask you some questions. It's probably going to be some Dallas related stuff. So be ready for that. And okay. include Mike, too, as well, Walt. Uh, you know, we got Mr. 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 Hill here, you know, back on week two. I want to apologize back on week two. You know, we uh, had to beat those Cincinnati uh, Bengals. But uh, so where are you guys at now? <laughs> <laughs> Same place the Bengals are. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but I'm just so saying. That, like, how do you go do a little something, be sitting at home, and act like what you did equated more than what somebody well, else did? And y'all used to going home. <laughs> like, you know, y'all, like, really? Oh, because y'all hey, went yeah, to yeah, Super Bowl yeah. now, now. You, no, 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 no. Dude, dude, y'all ain't won a Super Bowl in this century. <laughs> <laughs> I did nothing in the whole century. We're about a quarter way through this thing. Because y'all went Y'all haven't week. even won a playoff game. We just won. Like, uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. You did stumble into that. My bad. Oh, that's wow. it. That's a good wow. well, didn't, they, didn't they fire everybody after that? Well, we got rid of the coordinator. There was some things going oh, on behind the scenes. Oh, like, we We didn't like fired oh, yeah, we, fired the, we fired the whole coaches there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, My yeah. guy Jerry Jones. That's what I'm talking about. My guy Jerry Jones. That's what winners do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but y'all ain't a winner, so well, that's why you fight. Well, hold on, my bad. Hold on, Jerry, my bad. Jones, Jerry Jones came here and said, "A head's got to roll." Matter of fact, everybody here got to roll. Everybody got to go. We clean the house and shit, and getting the new stuff. That, that's how you build a championship. Yes, yeah, how you build a championship. By chair. firing everybody. <laughs> well, you know, it sends a message, you know, to the quarterback and to the head coach. You could be next. You could be next. So let me ask you: We talk about the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, Joe Burrow. I like him. I know you I do. Like him a lot. I, I like him a lot. I know you do. I almost like him as much as uh, better than my quarterback a little bit. But that's no, 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 no almost. <laughs> almost ain't like no just almost. a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> so you guys hit the home run on him. And uh, what your my favorite receiver in football is walking around here somewhere. I don't know if he's here anymore. Jo, uh, Jamar Chase. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you guys have a have a potent offense. I love offense. Talk to me a little bit about you know what you see this team getting ready to do. You guys were close to going back to the Super Bowl. You went last year. Next year, I feel like ring. I think the ring is coming. Yeah, you don't see us panicking. We're not firing people just because you come up a game short yeah. or somebody hit somebody out of bounds. Yeah. I think what really uh, the poise of the organization is that you're just going to keep 
getting better. You know, Joe Burrow said it. And this was not trash talking on his part when he was asked, how long is the window open to win a championship? He said, for my career. Mm -hmm. I think he meant it. But he didn't just say it. He's willing to back it up. He's willing to put in the work. He's willing to go back to, to you know, um, ground zero and start building each and every year and put the work in. This is a guy that had catastrophic knee injury his first year. Came back his second year, got through the season healthy, and then coming into year three, had to have appendectomy surgery. Um, Joe don't know the easy way to do things. <laughs> so the bar of difficulty, he knows he's got to go uh, the hard route. It's okay. He's willing to put in the work. And this team supports him thoroughly from top to bottom, all of the players. We got players in free agency, want to come to Cincinnati, and they want to come play with Joe Burrow. Yeah, you got a couple of our, a couple Cowboys players that came over here. That's right. And, uh, the year you guys went to the Super Bowl. That's right. All right. Well, you know, they're sending me the signal in the sky. So, you know, Solomon, thank you so much.